Welcome viewers. Today I'm going to be giving you a guide of Pyramid Plunder as well as how to get there and how to maximize your XP per hour. You'll need to have completed uh, Ikloron's little helper, however you say that, um, as well as if you've completed the contact quest, uh, it'll increase your XP per hour because there is actually a bank inside Sofanim that you'll be able to access, which I will show you. So questing does pay off. First of all, how to get there. You need to come down here, have 200 coins for magic carpet rides and a uh, Shantae pass. So, um, just go through here. You'll want to go to Paul Nivenich. Again, one of those crazy desert words that I don't know how to say. So, on the way over here, I'm just going to be talking about thieving just uh, in general. Uh, this is not a 99 thieving guide. Uh, this is just a pyramid plunder guide. Although I would suggest doing pyramid plunder all the way to 99, uh, if that's what you're going for. So I guess this is kind of a 99 guide at the same time. I don't know, but uh, 90, uh, 99 thieving has a lot of advantages as well as a high thieving level. Um, if you look at Zezima's stats, he's got 200 mil thieving XP. I'm pretty sure, which uh, for good reason, because it's you're basically starting from nothing and just making money from there. You don't have to like spend a lot of money to make money with the skill, so it's it's extremely useful. So, especially with some of the new old school uh, updates, so you're gonna come down here south and go to this rogue merchant. Uh, go to Sofanim. But anyways, uh, yeah, you can go to that rogue's place in the wild. And, uh, you get dragon stones for like each time you open the chest. It's a little bit OP, but you know, it's definitely worth it if you can. Uh, it's 84 or 85 thieving, which won't take you too long to get to. I'm 70, so I still have a ways to go, but you know, I could get there if I wanted to. Thieving isn't one of those mind-numbing skills. It's pretty diverse, and you have lots of opportunities to make money off pickpocketing or. You know, even this, if you do it long enough, you might get a scepter or something like that. But Let's see. You just want to go in here. These guys drag you through their dialogue and whatnot. Alright, also... Well, first of all, let's do this. I always bring a water skin because you're going to need it on the way here. And I'll just leave it in my inventory in case you're out here a lot. But, uh... Yeah, you're just gonna want to go in all these doors. Um, he always goes. He changes position every few minutes. Um, I think he always goes counterclockwise. But you know, don't quote me on that. Let's see. Yeah, so you just have to look around for him. So he's in this one. So um, the other thing I was gonna tell you also. Um, Let's see, what's the quest for the the prayer book? If you have a holy symbol, then you can recite prayer in your prayer book, and it will heal poison automatically. Otherwise, you're going to need to bring uh, a few super anti-poisons or just anti-poisons. But I'm going to find the quest that you have to complete that. Um, well, I'll just Google it. It's the Great Brain Robbery. It's the I think pretty sure it's the one where you get the anchor, but uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've completed that. So basically, what you're gonna do is um, the rooms that you can access start from 21, it goes all the way up to 91. Um, you're just gonna there's always a spear trap, so make sure you don't run into those um, up until the one that you can actually. The, the very last one that you can do, you're just going to steal from this uh, gold chest here. And then you go around picklocking all these tomb doors to get through. One of them will be the correct one. So, let's see. This part isn't too difficult. Your main goal is to just reach the last possible room that you can do. And then you start opening the urns. Don't bother with the uh, the sarcophagus. He doesn't give XP, um, and it basically brings out a freaking mummy that 
doesn't go away for a little while and it's a huge hassle. These guys are the biggest pain in the butt in the world. So after you find them, you just want to search through these as fast as possible. And then each time just kill your poison because it's going to waste food. You can use whatever food you want, whatever is efficient for you. I'm just using lobsters because I have a ton in my bank from cooking. So get rid of those. Some people use monks or sharks. Again, it doesn't really matter. This is also pretty tedious, but at least it gives XP. Alright, so here's the last room that I can do. Um, you might loot uh, gold scarabs or uh, statuettes or um, tablets or whatever. Um, you can keep those. Um, I always keep the gold ones and just drop the stone and pottery ones. Uh, they're kind of useless. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure you can recharge the Pharaoh's Scepter with uh, with these gold things. If not, you can sell them to someone I know for uh, a small amount of money. So I just always keep them you know, to recharge the Scepter whenever I, whenever I get one. I don't have one right now, but kind of a waste of money, if you ask me. But, yeah, you don't have to recite prayer or, like, heal poison back. As soon as you get poisoned, uh, just go ahead and finish the urn you're on, or um, go, maybe go to the next one and finish it so you, you're not wasting doses, because chances are if you heal your poison, in about two more seconds you're going to have to heal it again. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of a hassle, just don't really worry about it um, until a few seconds later. Just don't let yourself get hit by the poison, you know. So... The scarabs, again, they're extremely annoying if you get them. But, you know, it's whatever. And I'm getting hit by poison. Let me follow my own rules. Here we go. For this last part, in case you do get scarabs, you just want to drop one of these, because if you don't, it just drops on the ground. If it's a gold piece, then uh, you're going to have to go back, pick it up, and then leave, which is sort of a hassle. Always, before you leave this final door, get on the opposite end so that you can trap the scarabs behind it. You just run around real fast. That's what I do. You don't have to do it that way, but it's suggested by me. So you just run around like this, and they get trapped behind the chest. So, then you just leave, um, you go back to the place you found the mummy and try again. You might have to search another one to find him, but that's basically how you do it. Okay, something else I forgot to show you guys, uh, was the bank from the contact quest. Uh, it's really close by. Uh, you just come over here into this, uh, chapel building with his broken altar. You climb down these steps and voila right here. You can bank, get more food, get more anti-poisons. Really really helpful which I personally would suggest completing the contact quest before you start uh, gaining your thieving a whole bunch because this will save you a ton of time rather than having to teleport all the way back to the Doral Arena bank and then right down here again. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Again, I hope it helped. Keep making those gains. Thanks for watching, guys.